know, some people like stiff things. Stiff bands move, stiff hair, stiff drinks. Drinks. You would, she would say drinks. Because she. Well, I was thinking something else at first, but I didn't think that was appropriate, so. <laughs> my name is Dasha, and this is my mother, Davida. And we don't know what this show is called yet, but it's coming. Potentially cooking conversations, potentially Chef Boyar Double D. Who knows? Maybe when it's gonna have a name one day. Maybe Davida <laughs> does the twist. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, today we are making another dupe from Tassili's. I forgot for a second. <laughs> We are making a replica of like the punani wrap, basically. Oh, yes, that is what it is called. That is what it's called. There's the mandingo, which is the one that I usually get. It's delicious too. And the punani, which Again, is kind delicious. Kind of a smaller version of the mandingo without, I think it's like without the agave or something. Because we're gonna make the raw barbecue sauce as well, which is delicious. I love it so much. So. Actually, I think that's what we're gonna start out with because it's good to let it like marinate a little bit. You need this, and these are the other ingredients that you will need. So make sure that you have all of the things, okay? So the first thing that needs to be done is you gotta already have the salad, okay? If you don't got the salad, go check out our Tassili salad dupe first. Check out that video and make that salad. <laughs> Check out the video and make the salad. <laughs> like she said, mama knows best, okay? <laughs> um, once that's done, then you come back and you watch the rest of this one. You know, just open it in another tab or something, okay? Um, The second thing then, <laughs> that we're gonna be doing is making the barbecue sauce. So. You're gonna need a little, little bowl or something to make it in. If you want to make a big batch, then you can you make it in a mason jar. Um, and you're gonna need your liquid aminos, your bacon buds. Oh, bacon buds. It's really bacon buds, y'all. <laughs> hey, don't name me anything. They name the bacon buds. Bacon buds. They're, they're imitation bacon bits, okay? Okay. Agave, you need your bacon bits or your bacon buds. Um, you need your you need your liquid aminos and a bowl, mix it in, and something to mix it with, and you're good. So you wanna add your bacon bits, yum yum. Yum yum. You want to add your agave. Yum yum. And the you want there to be more agave really than bacon bits so again i'm not sure how what the actual measurement is but you want there to be more agave than the bacon bits and then you want to go in with your liquid aminos and you want to mix it it's gonna be a, a darker kind of color so this is gonna give you a really nice, like sweet, sweet and savory kind of thing going on. Okay, so once this is all mixed up, you will just allow it to sit because you're wanting those bacon bits to like really soak up the flavor. You may need to add more agave and more liquid aminos later on once it's absorbed some of that stuff because you want it to be a little bit liquidy. It is a sauce and sometimes it can get a little stiff, which is not a big deal if it is. If you don't want to add nothing else and you just want it to be stiff, it can be stiff. Um, but we're going <laughs> to sit this to the side. You know, some people like stiff things. Stiff bands move, stiff hair, stiff drinks. Drinks. You would, she would say drinks. Because she. Well, I was thinking something else at first, but I didn't think that was appropriate, so. <laughs> so it was drinks. This is not Disney Channel in case you didn't know. <sighs> okay, the next thing that we're gonna make. Couscous is the couscous. So, 
the couscous at Cecilie's has the couscous, of course, and it also has golden raisins. You can leave that out if you want. I'm trying to tell you though, it's the bomb. It's a thing, okay? I mean, raisins don't belong in potato salad, but they belong in this wrap. Yes, not in the potato. I don't even eat potato salad, and I know raisins don't belong in the potato salad, but everybody don't know that. <laughs> so I'm going to do it in a mason jar. It's nice sometimes making things in mason jars because then if you like, you know, say you make this this recipe all the time, then you can just store it, store the the whatever the couscous in the fridge and then pull it out and use it when you're making your wrap. Yes, just pop the top right off. Yep. So we're gonna make a little couscous. We're just making a small amount today. Got your couscous in there. We're gonna add some of the golden raisins. <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Did you get that? And I'm gonna take it out. Just for fun, you just wanted to do that. She wanted to give me something to dance to. Our boiling water in here. Low key, this might be a little bit too much water, but it'll be alright if it I is. I mean, you could dump it out. No, I think it's alright. It's already starting to expand. Or you can add a little more couscous. Oh, that's true. You're so smart. <laughs> smart. You just kind of. You was important. You was important, boo. <laughs> And then we just gonna allow this to sit as well as the couscous absorbs the hot water that we just put in there. Yes. Okay, so we have all the things sitting. Oh, look at the couscous already. You see how it has absorbed the water? Show it now. That's so cool. That's like science. It's like a um a dairy, a dairy cream, dairy. Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen Lizard. <laughs> dairy Dream, a little place in Bennettsville, South I'm Carolina. Say, no. um. <laughs> That's how you know I don't go to those places because I couldn't even think of the name. All right. Um, next, we're going to prep our veggies, our um, tomatoes, and we're going to slice up our avocado. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Really, I should have sliced these differently. I forgot, but it's okay. Oh, for the wrap? Yeah. Look. This knife don't like me. It really don't. Oh, this one is beautifully slicing. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to just use this one. Because, I mean, it is beautifully slicing. Is this made to slice tomatoes? No. No. <laughs> She's using my serrated bread knife. But it was beautifully slicing, okay? The slices came out real nice. Um, and then we're going to take our avocado and slice up half of this as well. Look at this little baby seed. That is tiny. I have never seen it. I don't know if y'all can tell how tiny that seed is. but I mean, they see how much avocado it is. If it's millennial. Look, you see my thumb? My thumb and that seed is the same size. Thumbnail, I should say. <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> I wonder why they, I mean, I guess, like why they decided to call it a thumbnail. So next we're gonna start to build the actual wrap itself. All right, mom, so while I'm building this wrap, this is the vegan mayo, by the way. While I'm building this wrap, and you're filming me building the wrap, <laughs> what are your thoughts on ghosting? I mean, because <laughs> sometimes I feel guilty. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I've ghosted people before, but never someone I've talked to for an extended amount of time. Maybe someone, you know, that I've known for like a day, two days, three days. 
never if we had like oh we went on multiple dates or whatever then i wouldn't i had i i don't usually ghost those people i don't think i've ever ghosted someone that i knew on that level but um if i just had a couple of introductory conversations with you or something and something didn't go well or yeah you know i just am no longer interested for whatever reason then i have ghosted people well what made those conversations not great we just weren't matches for whatever reason um okay so <clears throat> you know it had only been a couple of conversations nothing really going on decided this is not the it's way it's not me. a good fit okay well you know good. sometimes it was red flags and some most of the time it's red flags let's be honest yeah um ladies red flags that's a whole nother conversation but just run don't try to make them a different color if they red they red I'm just saying but yes uh <laughs> some people colorblind Ooh, mm. it's unfortunate it is unfortunate but they ain't they they ain't that colorblind figure it out okay so currently we're layering them yes okay um but yes as far as ghosting i may it may be an unpopular opinion especially among women because they do not like to be ghosted by men but i'm telling you if you go somebody or if they ghost you it's for the best that wasn't going anywhere to begin with so just take it for what it is don't try to make it more no need to worry your head uh, uh, about it if somebody ghosts you and if you ghost them don't worry your head about that either I'm just saying, sometimes it's for the best. Gentlemen, if you watching as well, let that little girl ghost you. She wasn't about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I know y'all watching. If he ghosted you, let that little boy ghost you. He wasn't about nothing. Wait for the, the one that's about they, something. Or they just weren't about you. You know, well, because yeah. I, again, I know some people, and that don't mean I'm not about nothing. Right, I'm talking about for them. They ain't about nothing for them with that person. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be specific. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You you're right. Be, they not, yeah, they're they're not, not for you. you. He's just not that into you. She's just not that into you. There okay, how about that? I think that's fair to say. Because it, it, it just be like that sometimes. Everybody ain't for everybody. You want to find your person, not a person. Right. Got some maters. It is looking good, y'all. Then some, some avocado. But if if you didn't have a relationship with a person, you don't have to feel guilty. If you go and you try to have a conversation with every single person about why they're not right for you, ooh, that's going to be the majority of your time. You're going to be too tired to find your person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're in the wrapping process. Mm. This is the hard part. At the restaurant, they have like saran wrap that helps them, you know. Mm -hmm. But they kind of do it like a like you would do a sushi roll. That nice little tight wrap. Boom! Oh, it actually did pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> Gonna the barbecue. Oh, I did forget the barbecue inside. Why you tell me that after I? Because I just looked up and I, did, I know she did. She wrapped it up good, y'all. And I just looked up and saw she had touched that barbecue sauce, sure and I'm did. gonna need that in this wrap today. Right. Because it's gonna be delicious. We was too busy talking about ghosting, folks. More of the story. Don't feel guilty. Yeah, now if you have been in a relationship with somebody, don't be ghosting. Unless them. they are, you know, are toxic, like beating you or, you know, like if there if there is some kind of harm that can come to you, run, 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 ghost, whatever you want to call it, get out. But if 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 it's just not working out, then that is a time to have a conversation. Don't mm -hmm. just ghost somebody if you've it was been a in, yeah. yeah, in a relationship with. But other than that. You don't owe these people nothing, and they don't owe you nothing. And see, I tend to be a people pleaser, and so I feel like I owe everybody an explanation. And for I told everything. her she don't owe them nothing. They not paying not a one of her bills. They don't have a ring on her finger. I mean, are they living with you, and I don't know it. No. Okay, so some of them want me to. <laughs> yes, they do. 
<laughs> Again, run. <laughs> we'll have to tell those stories another time. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Look at the beauty of it all. Mm. That does look pretty yummy. Yes. I ain't never cut it open like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you ready to taste? It's time to taste. It's time that to looks taste. so pretty. Look at that, y'all. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's like tomato. Why mm. it me? I wouldn't have a problem eating. That's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's delicious. Wow. The salad is in there. Mmm. The creaminess of the avocado. I'm so sorry I'm not here. And then the greens are also like crisp, so you get a crunch. The slight mm. crunch from the bacon bits. Mm-hmm. Mm. Our sweetness of the corn and the agave. I have been into the bacon bits. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's mm. a fire. And it's good. Oh. Y'all, I'm sorry you're not here. Mm, look at my... <laughs> my cheeks all look like a chipmunk. <laughs> It will happen. You have to use some floss or some toothpaste or toothbrushes handy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to keep eating. We're going to see y'all next time. Comment down below what you want to see. <laughs> what you want to see next. As well as what you thought about this one. Subscribe if you want to see more healthy recipes, okay? And tasty recipes as well. When I tell you, we chefs out here, okay? Um, and then share this with someone who might find it to be interesting or helpful. Mm -hmm. Try it out and enjoy it. Oh, because it's good. All right. We love y'all. Have a great day. I do love y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> I eat this more often than she does. She's just now getting the recipe for real, so she's gonna be referring to I've been to this asking video. for it forever, y'all. Forever. And she wouldn't give it to me. She kept saying she was, but she wouldn't. <laughs> I got it now. Love y'all. Bye.